Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Hope you're all having a great time. Gotta get my camera. Hope you're all having a great week, a great time. Well, I do hope you're having a great time, but that's not what I meant to say. Uh, so this was my first day back to work after I took some vacation time. Vacation was, uh, you know, it was, it was relaxing, which was good, but boy, it was hot. Hot today, too. It's funny, the past couple days, I, I take a walk every morning, and, well, almost every morning. Um, and it's been cool for a couple of days in the morning, but, boy, by about 10 o'clock, it's, it's, it's unbearably hot. This morning, I went out at uh, 7 o'clock. It was, it was already unbearably hot. So that's the weather report from southeastern Pennsylvania. It's hot. I know there's guys out there that just hate it when people start with a weather report. I like it. So. Smoking my Wednesday basket pipe that you've seen me smoke before. And it's Haunted Bookshop. So last week, uh, I was talking a bit about the importance of not putting off tomorrow what you can do today, that, that kind of thing. Uh, a bit of seize the moment, you know, do what you want to do, don't let things pass you by. Got some really nice comments on that video and uh, seemed to resonate with a lot of you, which I'm glad about. Uh, I don't really plan these Wednesday videos, I just kind of talk, but uh, this one I, I, I did do a little bit of planning for because one of the comments, and unfortunately I forgot who the commenter was, I apologize for that, uh, but one of the commenters just sort of randomly mentioned uh, Mel Torme, and I'm a big fan of Mel Torme. You know, I just, uh, I like that style of music, I like his, his voice was incredible. Uh, he had a wonderful ability to, to improvise, and he would just run one song into the into the next, or, or sometimes in the middle of a song he would just switch to a different song. Uh, and and he, it was just he was so entertaining. I have a couple of live albums of his that are that are fantastic. Um, So while I was living in Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh was a great town for, for jazz back then. I don't know if it still is. I know they lost their jazz radio station, which is a real shame. WDUQ used to be on all the time for me. But they had a, uh, I think it was called Jazz in the Park series. It, it might have been something else, but I think it was called Jazz in the Park. And it was like every Sunday night, you would go to this park, you know, bring a blanket, uh, whatever you wanted to drink, whatever you wanted to eat, and there would be a free concert. And it wasn't, you know, just like local people. It was, it was sometimes big names. And one sa Sunday, they had Mel Torme. And I had never seen Mel Torme live, uh, but I've been a huge fan. And my wife, who wasn't my wife at the time, but was to be, said, hey, why don't we go? And I said, yeah, yeah, that's great. We, we planned for it. You know, it was, we knew about it like a couple weeks in advance. And you didn't need tickets or anything. You just needed to show up. And whatever I was doing that weekend, I was probably working. Uh, got to Sunday afternoon, and we have to start planning, you know, what are we going to take with us? What are we going to and I just was tired, and I said, you know, I don't want to do this. I, I just really don't want to. And my wife said, okay, and, and we didn't go. I always thought I'd get another chance to, to see Mel Torme, and I didn't. He, he passed away. And it's funny, because I think about that a lot. You know, I think about... 
I wasn't that tired. I could have gone. You know, it, it just, it was a minor inconvenience that I had to find a blanket and <laughs> sit in the car for a while. My, my wife drives. She gets car sick as a passenger, so I never even have to drive anywhere. I could have gone. There was nothing preventing me from seeing this guy who I admire and, and, and love his music. And it was the last chance I had to do that, and I blew it. So I feel bad about that. I'll tell you a slightly different story. I'm also a huge fan of Dave Brubeck. And I, when I can, and I haven't for a couple of years now, but I, but I try to go to the Montreal Jazz Fest quite frequently. And there was a string of about six years where I went every year. And Dave Brubeck, would do an annual appearance at the Montreal Jazz Festival. And I knew this the first year that I went. But it's one of the concerts you have to pay for. And I'm a cheap son of a gun, so I, th I looked at that and I thought, oh, I got all this free music around me, why am I going to pay for Dave Brubeck? And then the next year came and uh, I'm not going to pay for tickets. And it, they were fairly expensive. I think the tickets were like $60 or something. Third year, I looked at the schedule and I said, you know, the, the night that Brubeck's playing, there's not really a lot that I want to see. It's only 60 bucks. How many chances am I going to have to to see him? And I thought about the Mel Torbay thing. And I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go. And I went. It was fantastic. It was one of the, the best live performances I've ever seen. Live jazz performances, certainly. Um, so the, those are memories that I'll, I'll have forever. Uh, I greatly, greatly cherish them, and I'm so happy that I did it. I was so pleased with it that the next year I bought the tickets in advance because I wanted to see them again. And he died a month or two before Actually, he might have had to cancel. He canceled a lot of his live performances. Maybe he canceled the performance and died shortly after. But he never played another Montreal Jazz Fest after, after that one. So that time I did it right. <laughs> and I, I learned from my mistake there. And, you know, it's, it's not quite the same thing as what I was talking about last time, because this is entertainment and, you know, it's not going to... It, it doesn't really significantly affect my life that I've never seen Mel Torme, but I sure would like to have seen him. Yeah, I sure would have liked to have seen him. Anyway, folks, I've got to run. Join me this Friday. Daniel Tobias is my guest. Daniel's a Israeli pipe smoker, really fascinating guy. You're going to love this show, so don't miss it. Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. I hope to see you then. Have a great rest of the week, and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Bye now.